How aggressive are you on the racetrack? Well, I was, I was brought up to, you know, to, to be the aggressor. You know, it's, it's um, in my mind, nine times out of 10, the aggressor usually wins. And, you know, this, especially in our new format, you know, being aggressive is, is something that, um, you know, and trying to win races is, is what is gonna be the most beneficial for you. And you, you rub some people the wrong way early on. Well, here's, um, here's what I've figured out over the years, though. Okay. You're never going to make everybody happy. Okay. And, you know, you have to, as long as you can go home and put your head on the pillow and, and, and be content with it, everything's good. I, I, there was one driver that was quoted as saying, I think, after your first year in <laughs> the now Sprint Cup series that, you know, you, uh, like, lost respect from yeah. some drivers for childish behavior. Yeah. Looking back on that now... What, what do you think? Yeah, well, th that's probably right. You yeah. think so? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think when you look back, and, and you look back at probably a lot of guys in, in, the, in the series that come through, our sport has a great way of policing itself. Mm -hmm. And when you get those situations where you come in and, and you don't know any different. I mean, when I started, I was 25 years old, and um, you, didn't really, you didn't really care what anybody else thought. You just wanted to go in and you know, try to win races and, and have fun. But there's a, there's a respect uh, that, you have to, that you have to gain from the garage and, the, and your peers and drivers and owners. Um, because if you don't, it'll, it'll, it has a strange way of just flushing you out and, you know, you become non-existent. So, you know, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to fit in and you have to be able to um, compete in, in, a, in a somewhat fair way. Um, and, and balance that with you know trying to win and, and trying to also be fair uh, to the competition. So it's it's definitely a balance. But our garage has a has a funny way of uh, uh, of the guys that have been there for a long time of making it really hard on you uh, as you go through the go through the years. Well, and it's interesting you say that because the, the, you know there was a period early on where I think you're suspended twice. So yeah. I'm sorry, you're fined twice over the course of a year, and the second time you end up being like suspended for a week. And your owner Richard Childress calls you in, and I believe you were concerned you might actually get yeah. let, let go. So how do you think you've changed since then? Well, you can't fight every fight, and and the biggest thing is. Um, you know, especially last year, this, there's, there's no need to have a sideshow. Uh, if you're going to be successful and, and win races and put all the effort into, into to winning races and winning a championship, that's all you're going to be able to focus on. Because if, if you get too far into that sideshow, um, you're talking about all the things that you don't need to be talking about. They're asking your crew chief and your team and your owner um, all the things that, that they don't need to be talking about. So the more you can detract from all that stuff, things are going to happen, but the, the quicker you can put all that stuff behind you and get the focus back on driving the car and focusing on, on what you need to focus on, the better off you're going to be. It took me a long time to realize that, but it's, it's much more productive. To what extent when you're out there racing, do you always feel like you're the best driver on the racetrack? Well, I think, you know, for, for me, I always feel like... Um, you know, given the right circumstances that you can beat anybody on the racetrack. And I think that's, in sports in general, there's that confidence of, of you know, you don't get to that level because you don't think you can win. Um, you know, I, I always feel like, you know, when you're in, in position to, to win a race that, that you have that control uh, of trying to make it happen. And, and hopefully more than not, we, you know, have had good success in, in making that happen. So I think, um, you know, when you look at it, you, you probably ask Jimmy Johnson or Jeff Gordon the same thing, and they would, they would tell you that they could beat the, the rest of us as well. So it's just, a, it's just kind of that, uh, that confidence that you have in, in knowing um, that you can get the job done.